What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with one of my favorite videos that I make every single year. And I'm not just talking about for the full year, but we are at the halfway point of a year. We're almost there, alright? And since my birthday's tomorrow, I figured I'd roll this one out early because you guys know that I do enjoy top 10s. I like statistics, I like ranking things, I like all the different stuff like that. So today, man, we're getting into my top 10 WWE Elite Action Figures of 2023 so far. Yes, that's the key. It's so far. At the end of the year, this list could be completely different. We could feature 10 different figures on the entire top 10. As this year progresses, more figures come out. Figures are going to replace figures. Figures are going to jump. I'd, I'd, I'd like to think that at least 20 to 30 percent of the figures on this list will remain there by the end of the year, but we have some great stuff coming on the horizon. And at the time of making this top 10, I didn't consider any future releases at all. I just took what we had in our hands from Mattel so far. And so today, man, we're going to do it. We're going to rank the top 10 WWE Elite figures from Mattel so far in 2020. 23, and I have my countdown ready. I'm ready to share it with you. So with that being said, just to give you guys a little criteria background before we dive into the top 10, just like the criteria for the ranking when we dive into any sort of ranking videos here on the channel, it's excitement level for the figure. How much does the figure portray the talent that's actually on my television when I watch WWE and wrestling? How good does the figure feel in hand? How detailed is it? Accessories, posability, likeness, all these different things come into fruition as we count down my top 10 personal favorite WWE Elite figures of 2020 so far. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up and dive into my top 10. Coming into my number 10 spot is going to be the Pauly Dangerously Target Exclusive Legends Elite figure, man. Really enjoy this figure. I think that it was the best figure out of its own set, and I'm really happy to have this suited figure. I think having a throwback Pauly Dangerously or a Paul Heyman here is really nice. Fits into the collection nice. I think a lot of people were waiting on this figure, and I think it was a, a stud release. I like the tie pattern. I like the individual accessories you get with the cell phone, even though I don't like that it breaks away, but it's still a really fun figure. I had a ton of fun posing it around. You guys know how I love suited bodies so this fits right in my wheelhouse i like this figure a lot and i think it deserves this number 10 spot in my personal top 10 of 2023 so far Coming in at number 9 is going to be the GOAT himself, John Cena. The top picks wave here, or the top talents figure. Really love this gear when John first came out with it. I, I just love it, man. I think it's a beautiful figure. You guys know I like this formula. You have the updates here with the double jointed arms. The, the gear is just super sick with a Super Mario theme. And I was actually really shocked that they released this figure when they did. You know, like just giving us this exact attire. Didn't expect it from Mattel, so when they chose to give it to us, I knew that this would be one of my favorite figures of the year. This entire top picks wave is pretty solid featuring Bobby Lashley and Ronda Rousey but this was my favorite figure from that set and, I, and we're not limited on figures from a single set you know you could have five figures from the same set in the countdown I'm not going to dock any football points for that you know but you guys know that I love collecting Cena figures so this one's really nice and I enjoy it and it has the good formula so I, I really don't have anything bad to say but I'm glad to feature the goat in my top 10 of 2023 so far will he remain on there probably not Coming in at number 8 is going to be the WWE Elite Series 101 Johnny Knoxville figure. A figure that I didn't see coming as far as, I mean, first of all, I didn't think we'd ever get this release, but as we knew it was coming, I didn't expect to like this figure as much as I do. I love all the unique molds here. The accessories are good. Head sculpt is really nice. I don't care for the Cena shoe mold. You guys know how I feel about that, but I still like the figure overall. It's a nice way to get, you know, some Converse's in there. I think it looks like Converse's, so that, you know, that that's all good and well, but it poses around really well. It's a fun, unique figure and I had a ton of fun posing this guy around and I still pick him up from time to time pose him around see what that new formula is all about but hopefully we see some cool reuse from this in the future but this is a really fun release I think everybody should check this one out if you're into you know those different unique characters and stuff like that I don't think it's a must have but at the same time I, I had to include it in my top 10 so far for the year Coming in at number 7, we have another Elite 101 feature here with the Ricochet figure. I enjoyed this figure a lot. I like it slightly more than Johnny Knoxville, which is why in my countdown for Elite Series 101, breaking down that full set, this Ricochet did rank slightly higher than the Johnny Knoxville figure. Just like it a lot, I like having a double-jointed Ricochet. I think Ricochet's a very toyetic guy. He's got great tattoos, very posable, very fun to pose around. He did have Johnny Gargano syndrome, but I had to forgive him for that, and I did fix it already, and it, it still looks nice. I like the gear here. I like the little sculpted belt he's got going on solid head sculpt here not the best figure of all time and it probably won't remain on the top 10 for the year but i still like this figure a lot and he's in the number seven spot so this ricochet has been a lot of fun and i think you guys will enjoy this one definitely grab it definitely grab it if you guys do not have a ricochet elite so far 
Now things are getting pretty oozy in here, Brad. We have the Jay Uso from the SummerSlam Elite line. Now, I know that he doesn't come with this jacket. He doesn't come with this cloth shirt. He doesn't even come with this hat, I don't think. Actually, he, he may come with the Uso's hat, but this is the Bloodline black, white, and red gear here, and I have been waiting on black Jogger Usos for so long, man, so to finally have a J to match our Jimmy, and then we do have another Jimmy coming out in the top talents wave that are in matching Joggers. I love this piece. This is one of the best Uso figures they've ever made. It may even be in the... It's probably the number one. It could definitely be. I know that we have the Ultimates coming soon, which I'm very much looking forward to. We know about the head sculpts issues, but this J by itself is so damn good. I love all the accessories you can dress him up with, man. He looks so damn clean. Look, Just look at him, man. He's, he's looking so good here. He had to be in my top 10, and he almost cracked the top 5. Not quite cracking the top five, but he's still here and he looks damn good. I enjoy this figure a lot. I, I constantly find myself picking up the Usos and posing them around. He feels good. Formula looks good. I, I like the joggers. Black jogger, Black jogger Usos have been on my wish list for a very long time, so no doubt about it, this guy was going to be on my list. All right, man, we have entered into the top five. Getting into it, it is the Tribal Chief versus Beast three-pack Brock Lesnar with the flannel and the jeans. I enjoy this figure so much. You guys know how much I love the Elite 99 Brock Lesnar. It came in as my number one figure of last year, so having another guy, or another Brock Lesnar, I should say, in promo gear or in this street-style gear, Farmer Brock has been very enjoyable for me. I, I just love all these different figures that are not in the wrestling gear. I always get high points for me. I think they, they are what make wrestling figures so fun is getting these guys in their just everyday gear you know the backstage gear the street promo gear stuff like that I love this I did replace the shoes with some Bray Wyatt boots to kind of give it a little bit more spice but this is still fire I, I love this figure so much I constantly pick this guy up I love the flannel I love that you can do the flannel you can do the sleeveless black shirt or you could just go shirtless in the jeans and that you know that'll give you a whole nother thing you can bail some damn hay this figure is a beast and it had to be in my top five he almost climbed even higher but I digress. This is my number five figure so far this year for 2023 from WWE and Mattel. Getting into number four is the Elite Series 101 Cody Rhodes figure, man. Enjoy this figure so much. I'll be honest with you, if this figure had the Defining Moments head sculpt and it didn't have that tattoo on the jawline, this figure would be even higher on my list, possibly. I just love that Cody returned. I love the formula here with the double jointed arms and the updated technology. I used to enjoy Cody Rhodes figures before he was even, you know, before he went away. I enjoyed his Elite 20. I enjoyed his other figures like that. But this one right here is so good. It captures it well. I love all the different Deco, the tights look really good and clean. I hate that the, the weight belt is not accurate as well. That also docks some points here, but this head sculpt's very good. It's just not painted. It's just not painted accurately, which you guys will see in the Defining Moments line. It looks so much better. You guys are going to be mind blown once you guys see exactly what this head sculpt's supposed to look like when it's painted correctly, but I enjoy this figure so much, just being a big Cody guy and getting this figure right at the time we did and having that updated there and comparing it with the Jazz Wears figures. I've just, I've posed around this guy so very much, and I am enjoying it more and more. So he had to he had to be up here in my top 10 so far this year. And it's excitement level, all those different things, posability, replicating the character from TV. This is one of the best of the best of this year so far. Coming in at number three is by far and away the best figure from WWE Elite Series 100. While the full set is pretty much a big disappointment for me, probably one of the biggest disappointments in Mattel WWE action figure history is the Elite 100 line. I know that's a bit much. That may be a bit over dramatic, but I was pretty disappointed, man. I, I just thought that the rest of the wave, it just didn't scream Elite Series 100, but this figure right here is very sick. I have enjoyed this figure so much. You got, it's such a big piece of hunk of plastic that you have so much fun just posing this guy around the feel in hand is immaculate he is a beast of a man this Andre the Giant Elite 100 figure is so good and then you throw in the sick jacket and you throw in the really cool outside the box attire it's just a beast if you own this figure you know exactly what I'm talking about I I do own the chase I have the regular version here this is one of those that's definitely going to be in the top 10 at the end of the year I said it when we reviewed it it's just such a beast it just feels so good in the hand and it, it is just so good so if you do not own this figure definitely track it down I'd say get of every Andre the Giant figure you have and just hawk this one down because this one is the it's the best. It's at the top of the mountain and this one had to be in my top three of the year so far for 2023. 
Coming in at number two is one of the most recent figures that we have had released so far. It is WWE Elite Series 102 Gunther. This figure is pretty much identical to the character portrayed on television. I love the cloth entrance jacket. While it could have been a little bit better possibly with a different material they made the jacket out of. Head sculpt's great. New formula with the fully sculpted brand new torso. This figure is so good. It is such a good replication and replica of Gunther and just the wrestler itself. It, it just speaks for itself, man. If you don't have this one, you definitely need to track it down. It's definitely better than the ringside exclusive. It's just, they did a great job on this figure. It is definitely, by far and away, the best figure in WWE Elite Series 102. And while, you know, so far this year we've had some great bangers, this one is at the top. I wouldn't be shocked if people put this at their number one spot. But for me, it comes in at number two because of, uh, of certain things you guys will see, but this Gunther figure is just immaculate. You definitely need to track it down if you don't have it so far. Go get it from Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I enjoyed this Walter slash Gunther figure a whole lot. You need to go grab it. And at number one, we have the SummerSlam Elite Build-A-Figure Set Dolph Ziggler, man. You guys know how big of a Dolph Ziggler fan I am. I think this figure is so beautiful. I think the new formula with the smaller arms, they finally gave this man the accurate arms. This is actually a gear that I've been wanting for Mattel, and I didn't expect us to ever get it in Elite Figure form. And to do it at this level and to have this level of detail is just immaculate. I love the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt's really good. I like that we got the ponytail instead of the hair down like we saw from the Elite 7. I think you could pop an Elite 70 head sculpt on here and it would look really good, but this is my personal favorite WWE Elite figure so far of 2023. I think it represents him perfectly, right? I mean, from head to toe, I think this looks just like Ziggler. If you guys know anything about Dolph Ziggler figures, his figures pose around very, very well because he's on ball joints. I think his formula is perfect now that we've switched to double jointed arms. They've given him accurate arms instead of the overly ridiculous arm size that they used to give him. This figure is just perfect, man. I love this figure. It's, it's pretty much perfection, and I have no doubt this will be on my personal top 10 WWE Elites of the Year at the end of the year, but that is my personal top 10 figures so far. Or It's not personal figures, but it's personal top 10 WWE Elites. We're not including Ultimates in this top 10. If you guys were wondering where the Ultimates were, they are not included here today for obvious reasons. I feel like you need to have your own separate countdowns for those categories of figures just because. But before we get out of here, man, that is going to wrap up my top 10. A huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate those guys so very much. If you guys are interested, check out the link in the description below. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your top 10 or top 5 or number 1 figure so far for WWE Elite so far from Mattel in 2023. But follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll never back down. We will not relate.